Greetings, everybody, and sun salutations. Yeah, I'm not rolling with that intro for very long. My name is Bleaker48, and today we are... Why am I doing this so stupidly? Hang on. Hello, guys, what is going on? Bleaker here. Better. I can roll with that. And today, I bring you another indie game time. Since the last one did so successful, I figure, let's do a new one. Today's game is called Game Corp Dux. Game Corp DX. So I have played this game, like, all the way through. I mean, I mean, you're gonna see this thing, and it is pr my office space. It is pretty badass. Like, look at this shit. We were mass-producing games. I just actually beat the whole damn thing. It's pretty cool, everything that I've got rolling. And it's awesome. I love this game. So we're gonna go back here. And hey, cool, my game finished. Let's Go to the main menu here. No, I don't want to save any of my... Yes, fine. And we're going to start a new game. The challenge. I don't know. The workers are banging... No, I'm not doing it. So let's find... So basically what you do here is you name your studio. I'm just going to keep with... You know, let's just call it Bleaker Studio. Let's be fun here. No, Bleak Gaming. Bleak Gaming. Now we're talking. Uh, you pick an icon. An icon. An icon. You pick an icon. I might have passed the really good icon. Yeah, I like this endless loop one right here. Start your difficulty. Start. Just hit start. Howdy, I'm your assistant. I can quit the tutorial. Yes, I know what I'm doing. So what happens here is... We start... We have empty workstations here. I'm gonna hire a worker. I don't want any with negative traits yet, and I will explain why. If we get that far, I'll explain it, but you don't want... You can have negative traits, you can get rid of those later, but I don't want them right now, because we are just starting off. So, let's hire two employees. I want two of them. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to settle on one. So, he's just going to sleep at his desk, because there's nothing to do. Now, during the course of the day, employees... We'll get hungry, need to go to the fridge, or get thirsty, and need to go to the water cooler. So you also have to strategically place those out. I am going to start a new project, however. But I need a second person to do that with, so I'm going to have to hire one of those lazy shits. Work slower. Falls asleep randomly. Ah, let's just hire this nut job. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start a new project. So I'm going to start a micro, and what I like to do is... I can't see my screen here for some reason. What I like to do is find out which game has the most amount of hearts. In this case, a shooter. So I'm going to hit continue. And now you assign parts of the project to other people. So since this guy falls asleep, I'm going to give him the two smallest parts of the project. So working on writing and working on sound. And I'm going to give John Doe... Yeah, I just noticed that. John Doe, the two biggest parts of the project. Now, since I don't have them leveled up in any of the cool shit, they're just going to do like a basic game. So we're going to hit create, and we're just going to hit fast forward. So they'll meet at the table, they'll start, they'll kind of start writing down stuff here, and now they get to the programming aspect part of things. So John Doe's asleep because he's got nothing to do. See, they're taking water breaks. Om nom noms, and game is done. So we hit publish. So we can market the game. You don't want to market, in my opinion, just because basically putting lipstick on a pig, it's still a pig, you know. Our first couple of games are just going to suck and be awful. So basically, critics say they're awful, but we will still make money from them. And you can track that here. But I don't really care about that right now. I just am going to pump out a whole bunch of games here just so we can start making money. So now... You'll see as you go on, people are liking different stuff. If you look up here... If you look up here, you'll see you have studio fans. I got 10. And the number of active achievements. Achievements come in very handy. Because they'll give you boosts. Role-playing appears to be popular. So let's do... I'm going to keep them on... I'm going to keep... Now that... Bleh. They're bars. I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen. You can't see it. Their bars mean that they've become more skilled in that. It's kind of cool. But let's just start the new project here. Super fast forward. They'll meet up. 
plan out the game, and now they're going to bed. So, this will dis kind of display... There we go. So, I've got my salaries, my projects, my consumables. This is the income I've received from my games. It's not very many. It's not very many monies, but we can roll with it. So then we'll go back to pre-production. We'll finish that up here. And while they're doing that, I am going to see who I can hire now. Hi, Steven! Hire Steven. What a swaggin' man. So he's just gonna sleep at his desk because I don't have anything for him to do, but I will incorporate him on projects. So this game is all done, and we'll publish. It did a little bit better because our guys are more experienced in what they do, but we won't really start getting five stars until we go to a bigger studio and learn uh, cooler stuff. So we'll start a new project here. Oh, what appears to be popular looks like the adventure genre picked back up. So I'll add Jean Doe, Jean, Jean Doe. But then we won't do use Steven because he falls asleep, or we won't use Charles because he falls asleep randomly. And that's how this shit goes for the entire game. So at one point, I am going to build a training cubicle. That is like my current objective. But I'm just going to make sure we acquire some money here. See, this is what we profited from our previous game. It's not very much, but it's a start. So we come into here into... That's my studio. I want... Where's my build menu? Build menu! Ah, build menu. We come over here and we can actually build training studios. So we can train these nut jobs in like the latest and greatest stuff. I'm actually gonna build two of them because, oh, crap. I'm actually gonna build two. It seems like a waste of money, but watch this. We train a worker. We'll take Charlie here. He has no specialty. We'll make him a writer. So we train him on WordPad. All right, next day. So we're still not making money right now. We're still losing money, but that's just because I purchased some stuff, a whole bunch of stuff. And since it's the new day, I can hire in some new workers. Uh, I like Frank. Frank the Tank. So let's train somebody on something. How about Frank? I'm going to train you on... Let's not train anybody on anything else until they finish up this game. And I'll explain why in just a moment. No, let's, let's just speed this up. Okay. Publish. Awesome. Review suck, but we're getting better. Not that good. Now, this is why I'm not training anybody yet. Because you see, they already have experience in something. So I'm going to make this guy, John Doe, our code guy. And then he'll train in that. But in the meantime, let's create a new project here with... Oh, 75. I love it. So we'll use him on writing. And that one, that one, and that one. Since there's no sense in having these guys sit around. Okay. See, we actually made money now. We would have weighed more, but I am in the middle of, like, training people. So as soon as this guy's done training... Nope, nope, not quite. Now he's done. There we go. Start a new project. Uh, still a micro project, because I don't have any specialties because my guys aren't trained in their new specialty yet. Use simulation, continue. So this is his specialty. So you at least want your specialty guy working on that thing. So now I have WordPad tier one. This makes the game more expensive, but it also makes the game a lot cooler too. So they'll start working on that as well. So this project is done, publish it. I'm still getting fans, which is good. Ooh, wow, this guy's actually... I might have trained some employees it wrong here. So we have one guy in writing. We have one guy in code. I need a new artist. I think that's what that is. So I need a guy on sound, which I'll make him on sound. Sorry, dude. And then I'll make this guy my new art expert. So then they'll all train in tier one. As soon as they're all done in Tier 1, we'll create a slightly bigger game. So we'll just kind of fast forward to that part. Oh, video game, vi video game studio awards. So right now I only have 
two competitions. So kind of what happens here, I'll just skip pat. We'll just suffer through this. The most productive studio, so I get cheaper wages, goes to me, Bleak Gaming. Nice. So this is the most beloved studio. I get specialization discounts. I don't think it's me because I might not have the biggest fan base. Yes, not shocking. So highest charted game, probably not going to be me, but my employees will work faster. Yeah, that doesn't shock me. This gives me a quality bonus, which just is awesome. Oh wow, I... Largest studio... Oh, I did get largest studio. Sweet! So now this gives me permanent boost for the next 12 months, while, you know, the years th for the next year. So like cheaper wages and stuff, this is all really cool stuff that I get. Why am I using stuff to describe stuff? So now my lazy pieces of shit will keep working. See? It's a high, the stars are higher quality, and this is how many more fans I get. So my quality is just going to keep going up here. I'm waiting on... Okay, now we're talking. So let's create a new project. Now we're going to make a small project because I have a team of four. It's going to be a horror game. So now I'm going to use everybody in their specialized field. This game is going to be more expensive, but it also turns out a higher quality, which... I don't have $70,000. So what's going to be the least important? Code's going to be the least important. Okay, what's going to be the second least important? Writing. Oh my sweet Jesus. Well, sound's going to be important. I am putting everything I have into this game and praying. I'm still making money though, as you can see, because these games are now finally starting to profit. I lost a lot of money. But my games are starting to finally profit. Oh. Okay. This is an interesting fact. This game won't actually create because my guys can't all pre-plan at the same table. So what we gotta do here is... A slightly bigger... Desk area right here. There we go. So now that'll work, and then... While I'm here, I might as well add in two more workstations. Or not. Nah. One's pretty good, too. One's good. And that's all I want to add. Fast forward. So now my guys will start the pre-planning stage. It doesn't them take them very long. Because it's still a small game. But, of course, they're still going to eat. He just fell asleep randomly. That asshole. Okay, we gained $9,000. We're starting to finally... Ooh. You want to keep track of your objectives here, because they do help you. So you can buy a plant, which helps your environment. What your environment does, I have no clue. It's... Whatever. It's just, like, pretty foliage. Publish another micro game. So I completed, like, a whole bunch of stuff. Buy a plant. Get a worker. Skill to 20%. Yep. Higher total of four. I like complete, skip the whole bunch of object, objectives here because I'm working a, a little bit ahead of the game. So I completed like four. So my current is is to produce a micro scale project. Which I don't know if I'm doing that right now. I don't think I'm doing a micro project right now. I'm doing a small project. Oh, it's taking them forever. He had this poor guy had the biggest part. Poor Steven. But we're still making money. But I've invested a lot into this game. But as you can see, I've pretty much made it all back. Mostly because of objectives and stuff. Oh. Can't do what I wanted to do. My bad. <laughs> and come on, baby. Come on, Steven. Good job, Steven. Once I get this game done, it'll be a lot nicer. And... Nice. So I'll publish this bad boy. I'm gonna, since it's a higher quality game, I'm gonna throw a small budget at it. Well, let's publish this thing. Well, hot damn. I think we might have just struck out on that one. But fear not. I know what I'm doing. Hiring a new worker. Now, stars. This is good stuff. 
he produces better quality. And yes, it's Gabe Newell, self-proclaimed king of the internet. So let's create a small game, a new micro project. And we'll do this on a strategy game. Strategy has a lot of code. Not so much in the art department. That should be fine. Nice. So, and we'll create that micro game. Let's train Gabe Newell while we're here. Gabe, I want you to be my new code guy. He looks like a little Hitler. Apocalypse confirmed. We will create one more micro project while I'm at it. That should be pretty good. And it's best to like multitask your workers as best as you can. So you keep bringing in more monies. Like, look at me, I'm up to 40 grand. And here come the lazy pieces of shit. But I think I'm going to stop her right there, guys. Oh, hang on. I got to turn the timer off on my phone here. So if you guys would like to see more of this phenomenal game, which I would really love to bring it to you guys, make sure that you guys hit the like button. Drop a subscription. Comment that you guys want to see this thing because it would mean the world to me to like keep going on this game because I have like three more objectives to of achievements to complete before I like 100% this game on Steam. So once again, if you guys want to see this, like, subscribe, and comment. This is going to go filed under my indie game time. This is going to go under my indie game time category. But if you guys want to see more, I will make it an official series on the channel. But until that time, guys... This has been Bleaker. We're back and better than ever, baby. Be seeing ya.